video is once you from tech for today we'll be dealing with the problems faced when you're trying to test your uh, test the wi-fi from your windows laptop to android and ios so these are two commands which are required to be run in that command prompt to enable the enable the sharing so in order to put these commands you need to open the command prompt and, and to open the command prompt using the administrator right so this will not be working yeah, right click and click it and click on run as administrator and then click yes and then copy this first command is over here yeah, control C and then go to the command prompt and right click and paste it and then enter it will do the required things uh, to, to enable the sharing of internet and the second command is you have to start the host network and many of you, any of the people will be facing this problem which is over here yeah it will be shown in a while so this is the first problem which I had faced while I was trying to set up so the solution which I found from browsing the internet is you have to go to device manager search for device manager and then go to action yeah view and then go uh, click on the show hidden devices and yeah this microsoft hosted network virtual adapter should be enabled otherwise the tethering will not be working so enable that and now try the command it is started after that then you need to go to yeah, go to network and sharing center and you need to share your ethernet connection the wired ethernet connection yeah, to do that click on the ethernet thing or you can actually go to change adapter settings and then click on the ethernet and then go to properties and then once the properties window is open you can you need to go to sharing and you need to share it you need to click on the hello other networks using this yeah allow the user users to connect through this computer's internet connection as you can see this is the newly created network which is which is the shared wi-fi network so the same thing local area connection 13 that's for my computer you will be having your concern thing you need to select that and then click ok and uh, that's the basic thing the problem which appears now is on my android and my ios devices I am unable to actually connect it, it is waiting, it is, it is unable to obtain the IP address so I need to, you need to actually manually do that to do that you need to go to the properties of the created connection and then scroll down to the internet protocol 4 thing and then click on the properties and you need to enter this thing you will be having 192.168.2.1 change that to 192.168.137.1 and then subnet mask will be the same and then click ok and we continue the remaining process on the phone and ipad
on your Android device, go to settings and then go to Wi-Fi settings and search for the Wi-Fi networks and uh, click on the like fortress and then keep password. Yeah, and then click on it. As you can see that there is some problem. We will not be getting the IP address. He just keeps trying to get the IP address and then it fails. That's because there is some problem on the server side. Then you need to go to modify networks and then go to advanced options and then go to click on the static IP address. And then give the IP address of which you want to assign. That is 192.168.137 mm, yeah, which I had edited in the system earlier and then dot some some IP address in the range of 2 and uh, yeah 2 200 for example so I don't know the limit of that uh, yeah uh, let me give 8 the thing is if you are giving 8 over here don't give this IP address to any of the other devices which you are connecting on the same tethered hotspot so that's the thing and DNS is all already given as 8.8.8 .8 .8. that's the google DNS and then click on the save option which is over here and this should be enough yeah, as you can see it is connected to the internet now the Wi-Fi is working and the internet also should work thank you for watching the video people is once you signing off and do subscribe if this video has helped you you can actually click on the click on the like button and if you are not satisfied with the results you can actually click the thumbs down thank you bye